that's cool. I wonder where that income tax uh, letter went. <laughs> so here he is. He's in the boat, and he's sleeping in the stern. All right, here we go. Jesus, how are you? Fine, thank you. Me too. Uh -huh. Fishing lately? No? Uh, excuse me, sir, while well, I attach just this little... Uh, thank you. So here he is. He's sleeping in the stern. It's gentle. Then it gets really violent. Are you all right? It's violent. Disciples are afraid something's going to happen. Jesus stands up. Right? They wake him up. He stands up and he says, Quiet! It's interesting that whenever Jesus is exercising people, casting out demons, or this kind of thing, he one word commands oftentimes. And his command was quiet, quiet, quiet. My mom had that command too, and it sounded just like that. Uh, <clears throat> and it usually worked. Anyway, Jesus says quiet, and all of a sudden, the waves are still, and it's calm. And the boat just kind of hangs out. Yeah, hangs out. Thank you, honey. You could just set it right there if you'd like. Sure. Yeah. Don't trip on it. No, none of you trip on the that dramatic three-dimensional techno color extravaganza that I put together for your enjoyment today. You'll get the bill. Our psalm gives us yet another brief input to add to this mix before we wrap this up and say, what is it all about? Those who go down to the sea in ships, we read in our psalm together, those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they see the works of the Lord, L-O-R-D, capitalized, Yahweh. They see the works of Yahweh and his wonders in the deep. For he commands and raises the stormy wind which lifts up the waves of the sea. They mount to the heavens. Can you imagine? The disciples maybe remembered this song. Then down again to the depths and up to the heavens. And their souls, these seamen, melt because of trouble. They reel to and fro. This was in Psalm 107. Who caught it? They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man. And are at their wits end. And they cry out to the Lord in their trouble. And he brings them out of their distresses. Psalm 107 verses 23 to 32. Can you imagine a drunken sailor on a boat? Maybe he would be the only one not staggering. Do you think? During a storm. Because he was already staggering before the storm. And the storm would equal out. Oh, never mind. No time to ponder that now. Because now is the time of salvation. Now is the time of rescue. Now is the time of redemption. Now is the time of release. And the disciples were in the boat. And it's shaking around. And where's the master? Jesus. Je where's Jesus? Can you imagine the waves are crashing in? They probably can't see anything. It's dark. It's misty. Where's Jesus at? Did he fall overboard? Where's he at? <laughs> Jesus is sleeping. I don't know if he snored. I don't, probably not. He's done. Master, master. They had to wake him up. The storm didn't even wake him up. They wake him up. Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Teacher, do you not care if we drowned? Psalm 107, they cry to the Lord in their trouble, and he, the Lord, brings them out of their distresses. It says, Jesus. The message offers this as the finale to the story in the gospel. Awake now, Jesus told the wind to pipe down. And he said to the sea, quiet, settle down. The wind ran out of breath. And the sea became smooth as glass. Could it be that Jesus didn't fear what was happening or what could happen? Because Jesus is the Lord of all creation. Because Jesus has the authority over all creation. Because Jesus can stop that which starts. He can quiet that which is not quiet. 
He can bring to calm that which is stress. He can bring courage from fearful situations. And he can birth love from hate. Why are you such cowards, Jesus says to him. Don't you have any faith at all? They were in absolute awe, the message says. They were staggered. Staggered. Another sense of the word staggered. They were so in awe of who Jesus was. They were, it was as if they had been received a blow, as if they were drunk and they're staggering. <clears throat> who is this anyway, they asked. The wind and sea are in his beck and call. Again from Psalm 107. We're almost done. You're hanging in there. You're doing a great job. He calms. <laughs> you should say, quiet. Settle down. Oh. He calms the so storm so that its waves are still. Then they are glad because they are quiet. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness. Psalm 107. And for his wonderful words to the children of men. Let men exalt him also in the assembly of the people. Praise him in the company of the elders. Why are you such cowards, Jesus says to them. I would say, well, Jesus, I can think of a gazillion reasons why I should be and am a coward in these kind of events. I'm a, I have selected memory, I suppose. I forget. I forget your great deeds. In my past days. I forget your great deeds revealed to us in the scriptures. I forget that you're the Lord of all things. I forget and I give power to things that I shouldn't give power to at all. I forget and I just kind of become afraid and a coward. And I shrivel, shrivel up. And I just shiver and stagger in the worst of senses. And I get caught up in the storm of the present. And forget your help in the past and your promise for the future. Yahweh calms the storm in the Older Testament. Jesus, the Word made flesh and blood, body and soul, human and divine. Jesus calms the storm in the Newer Testament. He's the Lord over all creation. We sang that beautiful song about creation. He's the master of the wind and the waves that threaten to sink us in our daily lives. And so what should we do? Cry to Him. Cry, cry to Jesus. As one contemporary Christian song says, cry to Jesus that the storms of your life, that the storms of my life may be calmed and our hearts no longer troubled. John 14, where Jesus says, no longer let your hearts be troubled. The word is storm tossed. That the storms of your life may be calmed and your hearts no longer troubled. And then give thanks to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for His wonderful goodness. Who is this that calms the sea waves? Who is this that calms the sea waves? Who is this that calms the sea waves? Jesus Christ our Savior. Hey, ho, and up she rises. Hey, ho. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Amen. Oh, I forgot this whole page. No, I didn't. <laughs> Just thought I'd see how many walked out. As our response to